Okay. All right. Um, I'm Zach Renzo, and I'm doing my presentation on football helmets and uh, concussions. Today, football helmets are vastly different from when we first started making them, uh, and our current helmets have been proven to significantly reduce the risk of concussions. It wasn't until 1939 uh, when fo college football players were required to wear helmets, and 1943 the NFL was required to wear helmets. However, the first helmets was not what we think of them today. They were actually just three pieces of leather strapped together. Uh, John Rydell invented the first plastic helmet, which is what we use today, and that was in 1939, and then later legalized in 1949. Today, Shutt and Rydell make the probably most popular helmets in the sport. Shutt makes DNA and the ion models, while Rydell makes Revolutions, which is the most popular helmet. In 2000, uh, 1,090 former NFL players were studied on concussion history, and it showed that over 60% of them suffered concussions somewhere in their career, and this showed uh, how concussions are a serious problem in the NFL. <coughs> and then in 2000, a study showed that, uh, a, a study on former NFL players uh, showed that it is as much as 19 times more likely that an NFL player is to be diagnosed with memory-related diseases such as Alzheimer's. Uh, so in order to accommodate for these serious injuries, changes have been made and uh, uh, they're constantly trying to make helmets safer. And with all these vast improvements to protect the players, there's still a long way to go, but uh, as time shows, like we'll eventually get there and players will be safe. Okay, thank you.